we're looking at the brand new 10 millimeter from Springfield and a lot of people have been waiting to see this I'm going to show you this one in 5 inch another one in 6 inch and this is part of their TRP line but let me point this out to you right now this is like the TRP line but on steroids everything about their 10 millimeter they, they upped it up a lot of notches meaning it's got a higher end barrel it's got a higher end trigger it's got higher end sights and it's certainly got a higher price so I mean you can feel its quality and when you pull a 1911 out that's four or five hundred bucks and then you grab one that's eighteen hundred there you go eighteen hundred dollars but you know the price points on Cayenne custom 10 mil on 1911s they're kind of coming up because you want the quality with the 10, mil 10 millimeter you got all that pressure you need the quality of, 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 of custom parts so it comes in five inch for that same price point and then you can also get one the same gun in six inch it's up to you so if you're a hunter maybe you want that extra inch and there you go five or six inch it's called the operator eighteen hundred dollar price point and it's justified by high-end products and, and the tight fittings that we know a 1911 requires to, to, live, to live the test of time. So, my name is Tom from Weapons Education. Please subscribe. Ring that bell when you subscribe. Tell a friend, pass the video around, and thumb up the video. Let me know what you think of the Springfield 10 millimeter. You know I'm a 10 millimeter buff. This thing's a cannon. Ballistics of a 357 mag. Check it out. Bye-bye.